<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Every year we see pictures of celebrities like Rihanna and so many others at Carnaval wearing these incredible costumes. We see all the dancing and the music, but what is this Carnaval celebration really all about? I'm gonna go when I lose some weight. But guess what? <laughs> She's recently back from festivities in Bermuda and here to tell us the best ways to slay ya at Carnaval is our travel expert, Miss Davy Sutton. Yay! Welcome back. Yes. Thank you. Yes, welcome back. You got the neon. You are ready right. to tell us all about it. So for those people who don't know, can you tell us what Carnival is and what happens in the Caribbean? Right. So traditionally, it is a, a Caribbean celebration. It goes back to the French colonialism roots and their masquerade parties. We see a little bit about that with Mardi Gras in mm -hmm. Louisiana. But it's the very first Carnival was in the 1700s in Trinidad. <sighs> Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. and so still considered one of the biggest parties, one of the most wild and extravagant parties, but that's kind of like the foundation. And it's rooted in African culture, yes. a bit of um, Catholic, mm -hmm. um, you know, heritage mm -hmm. and also the story of from slavery to freedom. Oh, so wow. there's a lot of emancipation parties that go along yeah. with that. I gotta go. Ooh, yes. I gotta got experience it. It's a little got bit you. intimidating at the beginning, but once you experience it, I I now realize after coming back from Bermuda why people are addicted mm -hmm. to going to carnivals. You know really? those people that are like, I'm hitting Bermuda, I'm hitting Barbados, yeah. I'm hitting Trinidad. That's that's why. Once you experience Oof, it, so we're gonna walk through that today. Okay. So uh, around what time of year? Does carnival happen? Because of the Catholic roots, a lot of the carnivals happen around Lent, which is at the end of February. But there are actually carnival celebra celebrations all year long, except for September, October, and November. I actually, on my blog, gave you guys a um, calendar. So you can go to Daily Dash Ooh. Affair so you can see when the carnival celebrations are. And they happen on almost every island. Ooh. And they can be around, you know, Lent, or they can be for harvest. Um, and we, and I, I uh, Bermuda's was in June. so. They they, you can just pick a, a month of the year and yeah. go celebrate Carnival. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you got to walk us through it. What can we expect? If I pick Bermuda next year, what can I expect? Okay, so we're going to break this down with the music, the dancing, and then the costumes. So okay. let's start with the parties. You can expect a, um, typical parties. First party I want to talk to you about are raft ups. These are parties oh in the ocean. God. You what? get there the way you get there. Uh, you can get on a boat. Oh, this is called a wet I'm set. I'm so going. you're going to expect to be wet. You go in your bathing suit, expect to get wet. There's a there's a concert going on. There's also um, typical parties. There's parties in the morning, at night, um, and then concerts. So the soca artists, they travel from island to island. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, this is Juve. So I, this is like the epitome of it. That, that's a messy party. So you're going to want to wear throwaway oh. clothes, comfortable se sneakers. You start at three in the morning and you go all the way, watch the sunrise what? and keep going. And that usually happens on um, Carnival Day. Uh -huh. But there are so many parties, you gotta expect the parties, you gotta dress for the parties, and just be free. So let's talk about a little bit of the dancing too, mm -hmm. because it's not our traditional dance dancing in the state, it's, it's about that culture. Yes. So the first thing when I got there, they were like, we don't twerk here, you whine. <laughs> you use Wind. your hips and don't be surprised if a man comes up from behind right. and starts dancing with you. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole cultural experience. And um, personally, for me, it was- Look at you. <laughs> That's the wet vet. So look, they spray water on the people and they're just lit, right? Yeah. And that, that, I was like, all it takes is you to get sprayed water and then you're living your best life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. 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 Right. Do that. Let's talk about the clothing at right. Carnival. I mean, it's so ornate. Like what? What goes into that whole process? First, you have to be outfits. invited to play with the band. So Ooh. that is the group. The band is the group of people you are going to be with on parade day. So you're mm. going to be following the truck. And they can start as anything from simple to very ornate, from conservative to super sexy. And I will tell you, coming from the States, I wanted to be a little more oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a little more conservative, but people just don't care. It's a vibe. People are free. And then with the costumes, they're 
handmade and they're custom made, but you won't get them until you get there. So I always say you get there, you get it fitted, and then bring a little sewing kit and start making adjustments. So my costume actually was like a deep V and yeah. I'm a little oh, yeah. fuller here. So I took my necklace and sewed it right here and made it kind of TV worthy. Cause yeah. I knew I was gonna be presenting this here with you all today. So I was like, well, we don't need to show them everything. <laughs> <laughs> that right there. But I think next time I'm just going to go full throttle, right? I'm just right. going to wear the, the oh most sexiest God. thing because that's what you feel when you're there. You're free. And I think that's what the why I wanted to come to present this to you guys today. It's one of those things you should put on your list to do once. Yeah. So I've been to a carnival before as the parade watching the parade on the side, mm -hmm. right? But to, have you ever been a part of a parade? No. no. So you get to be a part of a parade. So you first join the band, like get invited to a band, yeah. pick out your, you know, uh, corresponding costume, and then you just live it up. My <laughs> gosh. And the parade is the big finale. That's like you oh. mentioned that. Yeah, and they yeah. call that playing moss. So it's, it's, it comes from masquerade, but in you know, island terms, it's called playing mass. And so that's the, that's the uh, epic part of the trip, right? That's the finale, the yeah. climax. And so that's the day that you get dressed up, you get as pretty, put on the glitter, wear comfortable shoes though, because you're gonna be on the road and you're gonna be doing some laps. But yeah, you could see there, we, I, we, I was just basically living my best life on an island. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with you next four year. four days straight. <laughs> I'm going right, I'm going with you. Oh, I can see myself. Yes. All into it. I want the cut, I want everything. I gotta ask this though. Right, you, you work hard. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of islands, Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. yeah. How is that? Is it safe for us to go, or is that something that we should so put off of our list until maybe another time? It's a little bit of a complex issue. I wanted just to tell you, news-wise, there it's not more dangerous than it has been before, and there actually have been less incidences in previous years. What has happened is that there was one weird incident with that um, black couple, mm -hmm. and then another incident happened, and then people have been conflating incidences, like the one with David Ortiz mm. and um, his stabbing, mm -hmm. and then people have been going back and saying, oh well two years ago mm -hmm. I've been sick what you oh, should do okay. is just every time you leave the country check the State Department's website and the Dominican Republic is at level two which it says use caution when you go and it's been like that for a couple of years oh. so when you are traveling first check the State Department's website and then use normal precautions a lot of times when people are traveling they let everything go right and right. so they don't use the same uh, uh, standards that they would if they were traveling to New York City. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the drinks that are served to you. Open your own water bottles. Open your own cans. Don't drink the ice. It, when you're abroad anyways, you shouldn't drink the ice because you, it goes down to biology and science. Yeah. The bacteria over there isn't the same that you're used to. Mm -hmm. So that's why why you might get a, a typical upset stomach or, or feel sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Ask. Thank you so much yeah. for coming here and sharing your Connie Ball experience because I'm going with you next year. I'm saving all my nickels and you dimes. You got a and wine, Rashawn. Oh, wow. yes. yes. And you know what? For more on Connie Ball and how to uh, <laughs> how to guys, check out her blog at dailyaffair.com and follow her adventures around the world at Davy Sutton on social media.